Okay, so as you may know, in Shakespeare's time, it was actually traditionally accurate for all of the parts of both male and female to be played by male actors. And so we've got a little rendition of that for you today. And so we're going to perform, uh, this is the, the murder scene of King Duncan from Macbeth. And so begin. Thy Majesty, King Duncan, how is this luxurious bedroom that thy lowly subject Macbeth had to prepare? This is very comfortable. They give thee. Is there any food or drink that would get thee to make thee more comfortable? No, nah, nah, I'm fine. I'm very comfortable. Thank you. Anything at all? No, I'm comfortable, sir. Then we'll be going now, Your Majesty. I'm so fain after a tiring day of being king, beyond I must rest my weary head. Tis time it for me to fall asleep. And I doth desire which hour I awake it in the morning, yon I can see my most many loyal subjects. I'm so fain, yon I hasn't so many loyal subjects that love it and support it. Especially Macbeth, oh, my most loyal general, the thane of Glynis, who is much, who is I trusted with my own life. Oh, Macbeth, my own most loyal general, I should just ask him some more war, war stories tomorrow. I await. Oh, the most wondrous battle that Jen did combat you, and the campaigns that Jen did endure, all for this wonderful na nation, for Scotland, the greatest nation of all. Oh, my own sons, Malcolm and Donald. Oh, Malcolm, my own heir to my own throne, such a brave lad, who is actually quite friends with our neighbors, the English. Oh, my did, did, did dedicate son, who grew up to be such a valorous king one day. On my youngest son, Donald, such a kind sir, I shall bid both those folk of how fusion I am of both these folk. Oh, may I dream of quite quaint things, things only my imagination can come up with. I cannot wait to just wake up in the morning and see my most many loyal subjects, O oh, nation I love. Is this a dagger which I see before me? The handle toward my hand? Come, let me push thee. Have thee not, and yet I see thee still. Art thou the dagger of the mind, false creation, proceeding from the heat of fresh rain? I see thee now in form as palpable as one which I now draw. There is no such thing. It is a bloody business which informs thus to mine eyes. Thou sure and firm said earth, hear not my steps which way they walk. While as I threat, he lives. I go, and it is done. The bell invites me. Hear not, Duncan, for it is the knell that signals thee to heaven or to hell. What had made them drunk? Had made me bold? What had quenched them? Had given me fire? Hark! Peace! It was the owl that shrieked, the fatal bellman, that gives the sternest good night. The doors are open, he is about it, and those sleepy groups, they do mock their charts and snores. I have drugged their passets, that death and nature do contend about them, whether they live or die. Alack, I am afraid that they have awaked, and tis still not done. The attempt is not the deed they do confound us. For I had laid those daggers ready, but he could not miss them. Had me resolved my father as he had slept, I had done it. My husband? I have done it. Is that not hear a noise? I heard the owl shriek and the creepers cry. Did you, did you not see? When? Now? As I descended? I. Hark, who lies in the second chamber? Duncan's son, Donald. This is a sorry sight. A foolish thought to say a sorry sight. There's one did laugh in sleep, and one cried murder. Then they did wake each other up. I stood and heard them. But said the prayers and went back to sleep. There are two lots together. One cried, God bless us, and amen the other, as they had seen me with these hangman's hands. This name they appeared. I cannot say amen when they said God bless. Consider not so deeply. But wherefore could I not pronounce amen? I had most need of a blessing, but amen stuck in my throat. Who was it that thus cried? I really think. You, you do unbend noble strength. Thinks us ran sickly things. Go, get some water. Wash this filthy witness from your hands. Give me the dagger. Why did you bring it back here? It was supposed to lie there. Go. 
smear the sleepy grooves with blood. I'll go no more. I'm afraid to think of what I've done. Look on it again. I dare not. Infirm of purpose. I will go gild the faces of the sleepy grooms of blood, with all for it must seem their guilt. Whence is that knocking? How's that every noise appalled me? Will all great Neptune's oceans wipe this blood clean from my hand? No, rather my hands will turn all great Neptune's oceans green from red. Alas, my hands, they are but of your color, yet I shame to wear a heart so white. I hear knocking at the south entry. Retire we to our chamber. Get your knife down on it. A little water clears us of this deed. Be not so lost, quoting your thoughts. To know my deed, for best not to know myself. Wake Duncan with my knocking. I wish I could. Knock, knock, knock. 